and welcome back everyone. Today we'll be going over Car Maria's top 10, the challenge moments. And I know with someone like Car Maria, she has a ton of great challenge moments. So how I put my list together is from my own opinions and to my perspective. So if you don't agree with what I have in my list and in my rankings, don't get angry, just let me know down in the comment section below. But now it's time to get into the honorable mention moments that just slipped out of making it into the top 10. Starting with, in season 25, Oppenheimer versus LaToya. Now this was a Hall Brawl variance, and a lot of people were already giving Car Maria the win against LaToya, who, let's just say, wasn't the biggest competition for Car Maria, as she was able to get this win quite easily. Next up, we go to Season 29, Invasion of the Champions, where Car Maria was facing a fellow champ, Ashley K. Now, Ashley won in Season 23. Her team of Team San Diego in Battle of the Seasons 2012 was able to win pretty dominantly. But when it came down to Invasion of the Champions, pole wrestle against Car Maria, well, Car Maria proved to be a bit better when it came to physical competition, especially in the pole wrestle. But now it's time to get into the top 10 challenge moments. And at number 10, we have Back Up Off Me from season 20 when it was Car Maria versus Mandy. And this was actually Car Maria's first elimination win. Coming into season 20, she wanted to prove to a lot of people that she was here and ready to compete. And she showed everybody just that, going toe to toe with Mandy and winning. Next up we have in season 23, Battle of the Seasons 2012, we have her Hall Brawl performance against Lacey. Now, Car Maria and her fresh me team came in late into the game and found themselves in the middle of a rookie revolution. All vets were put on notice. Kara found herself in the elimination alongside Big Easy to face off against Team Austin's representatives of Wes and Lacey. Car Maria was in the first ever Hall Brawl elimination in challenge history, and in the first Hall Brawl, Car Maria took care of business against the rookie Lacey. Car Maria was a lot more physical, she was a lot more confident, and she was quicker off the horn than Lacey. It was impressive, but because she was going up against Lacey, that's why I have it down at number nine. But now let's go into number eight, which was the balls in elimination in season 25 against Jessica. Now there was some layers to this elimination where Kara initially came into the game BFFs with Laurel, but over the course of that season, their friendship soured and Laurel found herself hanging out a lot more with Jessica. Well, late into the free agent season, Kara Maria found herself going up against Jessica in a very physical elimination. And I have to say, Jessica put up quite a fight against Kara. A lot of people were writing Jessica off, but it was highly contested. Both women wanted to win very badly, but when it came down to it, Kara Maria was able to win this elimination, albeit it came at a cost as Kara Maria did break her hand during this elimination against Jessica. And for Kara Maria to get checked out, get an x-ray, get a cast put on her hand, but instead of saying, woe is me, she didn't give up, she stayed in the competition, and wasn't eliminated until TJ told her she was eliminated, which I think is very, very impressive because we've seen people leave the game for much less. I'm looking at you, Chet. Now let's go on to what I have at number seven, and that is Car Maria winning Champs vs. Pros alongside Darrell. I love this challenge moment. It feels like a full circle moment for Car Maria and Darrell, where they were initially paired up with each other in season 19, Car Maria's rookie season, they get eliminated first, and then some odd years later, when they both were challenge champions, paired up with each other, going up against other challenge champions and pro athletes in various different sports, yet they were able to get paired up together, they ran these finals, and came out victorious. I love this moment, but I have it this low on the list because it was a spin-off season. It was a much quicker filming time, a much quicker game, and for charity. Now let's move on to the number six Car Maria moment, and I have My Not Yours versus Anissa in season 27. Now, a night prior, while at the club, Car Maria and Anissa got into an argument, very heated argument, while on the bus. 
And this was just a peek into the anger and aggression and stress that the game had taken a toll on each of them throughout this whole entire time to the point where it was about to bubble over in this final elimination right before the final. The Mine Not Yours elimination is a pole wrestle variance where instead of a metal pole, the players will be trying to wrestle a PVC like rectangle away from each other. This elimination was vicious. Both Car Maria and Anissa were doing anything they could to win. There was knees to the head, there was elbows to faces, and it boiled down to Car Maria locking in the win and locking her and Cousin Jamie's tickets to the final. All right, now we're cracking into the top five, and at number five is Car Maria putting a impressive string of final performances back to back to back, making it to five finals in the span of season 30 to season 34. In that span, she only found herself in three competitions that could have sent her home, where she faced off in a redemption game in season 30, and she faced off in an elimination and a redemption game in season 32. Showing that she was a strong competitor to either win daily challenges or she had a good political or social game to keep her out of being nominated and thrown into eliminations. That span is quite impressive and it wasn't like she went off for a season and came back. It was five seasons directly in a row that she made it to five finals. Didn't win them all, but when it comes to being a champion, you wanna have consistency and you want to have success, and nothing screams both of those things than making five finals in a row. Now let's go to another hard-fought elimination win, and that was in season 25. Kara found herself going up against Naya in the Looper elimination, which was like a reverse tug of war where you had to run in between beams and then try to pull yourself to ring your bell on your side of the arena. Now, in a reverse tug of war, nine times out of ten, the bigger, heavier opponent will win. We saw that a lot in season 11, the gauntlet, where Timmy was able to beat Derek, Beth was able to beat Ruthie, and that could have happened in this elimination. However, Car Maria showed fight, tenacity, and was ready to go the distance, no matter how painful the elimination was because they went over an hour in this elimination grinding fighting for inches at one point Naya said that she couldn't breathe and when it came down to it Car Maria never gave up and was able to ring her bell winning the elimination doing what many believed was the impossible at the time and honestly I was flirting with putting the looper elimination win higher on the list I do think that this is a pivotal elimination win in a very important season in Cara Maria's history with the challenge that this elimination win was the showing of a turning point of Cara Maria. But comparing this elimination win to what I have in the top three, I just feel compared to them, four is a perfect place for the looper elimination win. But speaking of the top three, let's get into the third best moment, and that is the through thick and thin elimination where it was Car Maria and cousin Jamie versus Bananas and his cousin Vince. Just for a refresher, at one point Car Maria was canoodling with Thomas when Abram came in with his brother Mike to take over for Tony and his brother Shane when they were medically DQ'd. And once Abram was settled in the house, Johnny Bananas and his cousin Vince decided to tell Abram that Car Maria and Thomas had canoodled, and that brought in a lot of tension on Car Maria. Once Thomas and his brother Steven and Abram and his brother Mike were eliminated and the dust had settled, it was down to Car Maria versus Bananas. In this elimination where you have to break through a brick wall and then put together a pretty intricate puzzle. Now puzzles back then as well as up to the present have not been the forte of either Bananas or Car Maria. So this was literally anybody's game. But it was Car Maria who was able to put this puzzle together, overcoming not only puzzles, but her biggest rival, sending him home so close to the finals. Let's go to Car Maria's top second moment. And this is where I feel like a lot of division will happen in a lot of people's list. But 
I have to give Car Maria's historic challenge win in season 31 as her second best moment in her challenge career. This right here was indeed flawless. It looked like she had no worries in the world as she was able to kind of just glide through the whole entire season, making it to the finals, not seeing one elimination. Granted, she didn't see a daily challenge win either, but she glided her way all the way down to the finals where she was able to make it past part one and then win part two, winning against Kayla, Zach, and Kyle. Car Maria made challenge history being the first ever solo winner of the show, which I just think is really, really impressive. And it's hard to put this at number two just because it feels so dominant. It feels so impressive. And to be the first ever solo winner just feels like it should be number one. But I have her win in season 27, Battle of the Bloodlines, as her number one top challenge moment. Season 27 revolved around Kara. As she was the core, she was the engine of the whole entire season. Whether it was her competing alongside her cousin Jamie, navigating the house through the different relationships that she had, her rivalry with Johnny Bananas, I just feel like this season was made up of so many different moments when dealing with everything that she had to go through with Abram. Having to go up against Bananas and Anissa in the final two eliminations just to get into the final and for her to put all those moments together and to overcome so much on the season to finally get a championship win in the challenge and to do it alongside a family member, I think that that is an impeccable top moment. I mean, when I think of Cara Maria, I think of season 27, and I just think that this is one of her most memorable moments, but also her top moment in her challenge career. But I understand where people would differ in that and putting her Vendetta's win over that. I just think that she did so much more in Bloodlines and getting that win that I think that it deserves to be at her top challenge moment so far in her challenge career. But that is it for Car Maria's top 10 challenge moments so far. What'd you think about this list? Let me know down in the comment section below. Would you agree with? Would you disagree with? What would you put higher or lower according to my list? Let me know anything and everything down in the comment section below. I also want to give a special shout out to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelcakevids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who's watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.